yeah. you're still watching ways uh march 20th is world happiness day the theme for 2020 mainly focuses on what we have in common instead of focusing on the things that divide us and the theme of 2020 is happiness for all the very first international happiness day was observed on march 20th in the year 2013 and since then it is being celebrated every year so ladies what made you happy this week Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I haven't had any reason to be happy. Really? <laughs> like out of the box happy, but I, I would say this, that the fact that we have life, yes, we should be happy in the midst of coronavirus. How are you, Faith? I am happy <laughs> that our <laughs> government <laughs> finally has ears and have listened and blocked those high-risk countries. I think only 13 for now. But yes, I am happy. It gives me a lot. I feel more comfortable now. At peace, right? Yes. You what know, it's so what interesting. about the ones that have already filtered in? We will tackle, aside from the fact that it's so that interesting we will that before, them. when certain things happen, the safe place to go to is abroad. Exactly. Yes. Coronavirus. Now, uh, people Africa abroad are trying to come to Nigeria. Yes. There was even a story about a German who was who wanted to stay back in Ghana, uh. and he he feigned that he was actually sick <laughs> at the airport so that they don't take him back. back. Well, well, uh, what made me laugh today? I mean, I mean, I laughed so hard. I had to beg our producer for me, please play that video, because you know, like with the isolation and all of that, a woman went. Uh, on online and uh, was ranting how she had four kids. I like I watched the video over and over again. It was Chinasa Asada sent it to our group? Yes. Okay. I laughed so hard, like I couldn't <laughs> stop laughing. And she was speaking in Spanish, I think. Oh, it was in Spanish, and she was three, just three, three, three. she was just going on and on about how are they with million WhatsApp messages? How are the parents expecting me to? Now I mean, how the teachers? How the teachers expecting me to know what to do? I have four children. How do and I do music. this? <laughs> you know, that how am I supposed to read music? Now my children will know how dumb I am. <laughs> well, that's the video playing there. Yeah, that's the video <laughs> playing there. <laughs> where a guy said that he just sat down with his six-year-old for 30 minutes and he can't do it that teachers deserve <laughs> yeah. a million dollars yes i saw it thank i saw you. that thank you i saw that i saw that teachers. i saw thank that <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's quickly go into what we found as today's um we, we thought to make you laugh as well you know it it was a good video to, no, to comic relief comic yeah relief. all right so Faith, what did you find for us in the news today so um in the guardian news um buhari's daughter is in isolation as Nigeria's coronas case rise. So um, Aisha Buhari ordered the immediate shutdown of her office for two weeks um, because a lot of her staff had traveled to the UK and they had come back. And also her daughter um, traveled to the UK and she came back to Nigeria. And she's saying that she doesn't have any symptoms, but she's just doing that for, for precautionary, precautionary Yeah, I also measures. saw, uh, what's her name? Um, um, Insee also yes, just returned, Tonya well. Cole, 
just returned as well from the UK. A lot of people are taking the responsibility. I mean, the lady we had on the show, what's her name now? Skinny Girl in Transit. Yes. Yeah, she has cancelled the event. You know, she was supposed okay, to yeah, so premiere screen the premiere. A lot of events are also cancelling. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so for, for me, um, I think I'll go with my story first and Isi would follow up because the follow-up story. Okay. I have about three stories to quickly run by. First of all, it was Donald Trump, you know, announcing that he was approving um, uh, cl um, chloroquine for the treatment of, uh, what's it called, the coronavirus. coronavirus. Now, the way it's been done, when it comes to treatment, first of all, there's, this, there's a sample, they, they test it on animals and all of that. But what they said, according to the, the, the analogy that was given, was that because they already know how chloroquine reacts to people, so there was no need for those other two steps right just just go straight to testing however the fda had come out to say that it is not the chloroquine in itself right Ooh. it is more of um what's it called um a combination, a combination. so there's there's um covid um, 19 pneumonia and there's covid 19 for upper respiratory okay. disease and there is a combination with the pneumonia it, i think it's chloroquine with four other Drugs, drugs in combination yeah. to treat while the respiratory is with an extra drug you know so um this has brought a lot of you know chaos okay. because right now in nigeria which is the second story um the hospitals are complaining that they are treating people of poisoning chloroquine poisoning yes because when as soon as that chloroquine issue came out everyone everyone shoot. rushed to the Pharmacy, pharmacy and all of that. However, the, the Nigerian exactly. um, drug, um, what's the center? Center for Drug and Disease. They actually said that they approved um, trial of the chloroquine drug mm -hmm. for coronavirus. The trial, not a treatment. Okay. okay. So now it's just so conflicting and everybody's all over the place. People are rushing. And I just want to advise, instead of fighting this thing to say people don't buy, I think now would be the time to know if we have our regulatory bodies working. Place, Why? Yes. You can actually seize the license of any pharmacy that is selling because they cannot well, buy chloroquine except they go without to a pharmacy. A yeah. So you, you well. must go with okay. a prescription then exactly. if we, yeah. So that's the only way we can solve this problem, I think. Mm. Because right now any if you say go and buy garlic <laughs> and honey the, there will be garlic and honey and run, scarcity. Yes. You know, yesterday the supermarkets were jammed. I said for what? It's everywhere. Everybody's on the so panic. Much panic. Buying. So for me, I think, um, please, we should just calm down, mm -hmm. right? They've not said um, it. I think and Guardian was very, I mean, Vanguard, they were very responsible with their headline. You know, don't, don't um, sens uh, sensationalize the story and make it look like because you want to, you want your paper to sell. This is okay. not the time for it. You should, you should report a story at, as it's supposed to be, not with, letting people rush, uh, run health scare. Exactly. It's, 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 it's not, not nice at all. Exactly. You see, on a lighter well, note. My, <laughs> well, my story is coined from um, The Guardian, sorry, The Vanguard, and it is all about MFN and other churches actually um, shutting, shutting down. down. So um, religious bodies, um, Elevation Church, um, House on the Rock, yeah. they've also shut down the services. Everything has gone online. Line. So if your church is not online, then you can't receive your tithes and offering every month, so, so every this, week. this one, I think, yeah? I think this is a brilliant idea because mm -hmm. I think it was last week, Sunday, I was so scared because I'm like, whew, what if? Because I, well, I, I go to Elevation. Okay. Um, yes, as you enter church, they give you hand sanitizer and stuff like that. Okay. But there's no screening. And even then, there are people that have like asymptomatic. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. So you I think we have really a short report because I understand how the churches work because we've mm. been doing a lot of online stuff. But okay. let's see what we, what how the mosque would would cope well, with this. Yeah. Okay. okay. The Lekki Central Mosque right here in Lekki, Lagos, Nigeria, now a shadow of itself. Ordinarily, this mosque should, at a 2 p.m. on a Friday, have over 3,000 worshippers. As you can see, there is no worshipper just here except for key staff of the mosque. I was able to speak with the chief imam of this mosque, who actually spoke with me off camera, and he says that um, um, word had been sent out to worshippers that the 
there would be no Jumat service held here today. And this is in com compliance with um, instructions from the Lagos State Government on social distancing um, for religious bodies that, that was sent out yesterday by the State Ministry for Health and, of course, by the State Government. From the Leki Central Mox in Lagos, Nigeria, Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa. All right, so, um, like, as I said earlier, for churches, we understand how churches yes. will work. Like, I haven't been to church in the last two months because it's either maybe I'm out of Lagos or I am, you know, stuck somewhere and all mm -hmm. of that. Or I have worked, you know, I'm since we started Ways because Ways is weekend, Friday to Sunday. Exactly. It's been really tough for me because I work Monday to Sunday Through now. Too. I don't have any yes. breaks. So I haven't been to church because I've just been doing online service, do your offerings and all of that online mm -hmm. and all of that. I think for churches... Is a, is, I mean, for churches that are yeah. prepared, like our church, and I must give it to my like church. church. <laughs> they start. What do you mean? <laughs> Pastor Sam Adeyemi was the first that I know of that cancelled before every other church that they're following suit. Okay. I mean, it's just, I mean, common sense yes. that we should exactly. just respect and that, that this thing can go by. Yes, it's well. that's, that's the role good of leadership. leadership. All right, so, so. today um, we're talking about workplace and how this epidemic or pandemic will affect work life so to um and our first guest will join us right after the break please stay with us